Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're at the IBM booth at ISC 12 in Hamburg. So, we had the top 500 come out. IBM had a fantastic week. What happened when the top 500 list came out? Obviously, IBM was uh, thrilled with the result that we have. Uh, you know, being named to the number one position in the top 500, you know, is something that was not necessarily expected. So, being able to get that out uh, in time for the show was just an incredible experience. It was also a great week for IBM in that we had two other awards that we won. We got the uh, Gauss Award and the uh, Price Award along with some of our partners uh, with the IBM Research. So just a complete fantastic result. Not only did we get the number one, but we had the highest concentration of other systems throughout the top 500. So all in all, a tremendous showing. So let, let's start with Blue Gene Q. The uh, Sequoia is based on it. Is that what we have here? Yes. Yeah, so here we have the uh, Blue Gene uh, Q rack. Uh, this is uh, it's an amazing uh, you know piece of equipment here. So it ha fits uh, 32 different uh, node racks, each of which can have 32 nodes for over uh, 1024. But what's great about it is obviously uh, all the uh, water cooling that we have here, um, and it's a complete system. We actually have one of the uh, Blue Gene Q node boards, and what's interesting about this is you can see all the uh, the cooling piping that's in here along with uh, each of the individual nodes and the memory associated with them. So this has got a lot of interest in the booth. Everyone wants to come see the system that's behind you know, such great results in the top 500. All right, so, so, so this is amazing technology, but can you tell me more about the number one spot? Well, the number one spot went to Lawrence Livermore National Labs. And uh, as you heard earlier, they had over 16 petaflops uh, as part of the LINPAC results. So what was really amazing about it is that they had only 96 racks. So the previous number one spot had over 800 racks. So in terms of the density and the amount of power and processing that we could add to that system was fairly incredible. So in terms of that, it's only of these five node boards is a petaflop of processing power. So it's an amazing compression in a very short amount of time. So you had that tremendously you know, reduced number of cabinets, but you also set a record for the number of cores for a single system. Yep, that's right. It was over a million and a half cores that we were able to deliver as part of the system. So your results at the top 500 also included a number of x86 systems as well, did it not? It definitely did. While at the number one position we had the Blue Gene Q, yep. uh, we also are showing here the iDataplex systems, uh, both an air-cooled and a water-cooled version of it. And what's great about this is that these are the systems that are powering uh, Supermuck with LRZ, which took the number one position here in Europe. And we're also showing off the uh, iDataplex rack system. Well, I did want to ask you about Supermuck because it was kind of a surprise to me, this, this hot water cooling. A, so what's flowing through here, is it's, at what temperature are we talking about it? It's at 40 degrees Celsius um, mm -hmm. that we're actually putting that through. And the temperature rises up to approximately 60 degrees Celsius. And what's great about that is they didn't have to put the uh, expenditure for energy to chill it all the way down to lower temperatures, especially here in uh, Germany where you have higher energy costs. So a huge savings to the customer.